Hey guys, I'm just going to be showing you how to run through 4.3 with my Mathematica file that I've just created. It's uh, fairly straightforward. The only thing you may screw up is the AV symbolic. If you mix around one of your resistors or if you put a plus instead of a multiplier. I've done that before. I did that last year and I got it wrong. It was kind of annoying. But if you pay attention and you double check your work, it should be fine. Um, the symbolic is always going to be the format of this up here. R1 plus R2 in brackets times R3 plus R4 in brackets uh, plus R3 times R4. All that in brackets over R1 plus R uh, times R3. And that's assuming that your resistors go in the way of the first one on the left being R1, the second one being R2, the third one being R3, and the fourth one being R4. The easiest way to make sure you can translate this one to the one that you've got is, uh, once I get rid of the spaces, uh, you, sh you don't have to get rid of the spaces, but I like to do it just because the um, submitting it with spaces won't matter, it, get it gets rid of them anyway. And I'll note here that submitting is uh, also, all this is case insensitive, so you can have a lowercase r or an uppercase r, or you can have mixtures, it doesn't matter. But the easiest way to translate your diagram into this format would be to, you start with R1, and see, um, R1 is actually R3, so wherever you see R1 in this equation, you replace with a lowercase r3. So R3 there, we've got another R1 here, so replace it with an R3, lowercase r3. The reason why we do lowercase is so we know which ones we've already replaced. If you do uppercase, then when you get to R3, you'll end up replacing everything over again, and you'll get it wrong. Uh, and then you move on to R2. So wherever you see R2 in this equation, you replace it with, in my case, R1, lowercase R1. Now that only appears once, so I'm good for that. I can move on to R3. Anytime I see R3 in this equation, which is three times, I'll place it with R4. So there, there, and there, and then finally R4 gets replaced with R2. Oop, that was silly. R2. Okay, and then this will be the format of your symbolic. This will be correct if you followed the steps that I've just shown you. And now for the rest of it, if you're using this, it's pretty straightforward. I will, ex this is one of the few ones that I actually know why uh, basically why the theory works and I'll do a summary pretty much um, AVO is basically you just plugging in your resistor values into this equation you can do it yourself if you want but this will automate it for you and keeping in mind this works on the assumption that it's R1, R2, R3, R4 in that order so make sure just look at Look at them in that order. Don't worry about the actual labels in the diagram. So, 5600, 1800, 4700, another 5600. And I'm not going to press enter now because it'll, it'll generate everything. But I want to explain what actually happens with AV min and AV max. AV min is when the uh, top two are going to be mins and these are going to be maxes. Or is it the other way around? It is... Yeah, yeah. So, the uh, the ones on the inner loop are going to be at their minimum, and the ones on the outer branches are going to be their maximum. So, with a 10% tolerance resistor, the minimum is going to be 0.9 of its value, and the maximum is going to be 1.1. And that's what it does here. You don't have to really read through. It's a bit complicated just looking at it, but you don't have to worry about how the mathematical file works, it will generate correctly. So with all that the way, the resistor values in, you can pretty much just copy and paste. I've changed it so it actually show you what one you're doing. So that's AV min, this is AV max, and trying this will give 100%. There they go. Very, very simple. Good luck.